The standard Seahorse Kentucky started life with the 30 pound thrust motor in 2001 and the more powerful 46 pound thrust motor was introduced in 2004 to meet the challenges of fishing on the challenging west coast beaches. The standard Seahorse comes without the autopilot system and requires you to manually direct it on the correct course. The standard Seahorse comes with a choice of two motor sizes being either the original 30 pound or the more powerful 46 pound thrust motor. The standard Seahorse 30 works well in calmer conditions and the standard Seahorse 46 is designed for the rougher conditions you generally find on the west coast beaches and around the South Island. Most people opt for the Seahorse 46. The standard Seahorse is 1.35 metres in length and weighs 19 kg with the 46 pound thrust motor or 17 kg with the 30 pound thrust motor. The Seahorse Kentucky has a streamlined body which doesn't have any fins or bumps to get caught on things. This means less drag and therefore better performance. Also, it allows shallow water launches as there is nothing to catch on the bottom. We have recently upgraded the rudder to double the size to give better steerage and control. The rudder steers in the same direction you wish the Kentucky to turn to go to the right, turn the rudder to the right, and to go to the left, turn the rudder to the left. Seahorse uses the very reliable Mercury electric motors. The white motor with the three blade prop is the 46 pound thrust motor, and the black motor with the two blade prop is the 30 pound thrust motor. The solid aluminium motor frame protects the prop and motor. This allows you to launch in only knee deep water so you don't get too wet. The strobe light is light or night activated. It will turn on once it's dark enough. The light is powered by a normal D-cell battery. Unscrew the bulb, insert the battery and screw the bulb back on nice and tight. If not on correctly, water will get in and damage the strobe light, causing it to fail. On the starboard or right hand side of the Kentucky unit is the Kentucky serial number. Please complete your warranty card and this serial number and send it to Seahorse for registration. The serial number for the winch is on the motor cover. The bright orange flag gives visibility during the day, but you will need to use binoculars to see it on the longer sets or in poorer light conditions. The control unit on the standard Seahorse will show you your battery status, whether your batteries are charged or need recharging. It allows you to set your run time and for the 46 pound thrust Seahorse, it allows you to select either fast or slow speed. The control unit also has built-in stall protection, so if something gets caught up in the prop and stalls the motor, the control unit will stop and start the motor three times to try and free the obstruction and continue fishing. If not cleared, the motor is stopped after the third attempt. The control unit is fully encased in resin to protect it from the elements and any water that may get into the Kentucky unit. Also, the wiring to the motor goes into a waterproof air bladder, protecting the motor and separating it from the outside environment. The solid aluminium hatch and spider gives access into the seahorse, and this is where you fit the batteries into the Kentucky. To remove the hatch, you need to unscrew the hatch screw a reasonable way out and slide the hatch forward, lift the back and remove the hatch. Inside you will find two batteries. The aft battery is the smaller 8 amp hours battery and the forward battery is the larger 14 amp hours battery. For the standard Seahorse, the big battery goes in first, followed by the smaller battery that goes in on its side, both with the terminals towards the hatch. After inserting the batteries, connect the two leads, either lead onto either battery. We use the two batteries to provide enough power to run the 46 pound thrust motor for approximately 22 minutes and the 30 pounder for about 30 to 35 minutes. Both Kentuckys will travel up to 1800 metres offshore in that time. Ensure no leads or wires get caught between the spider and the Kentucky body. To fit the hatch, Ensure the spider is sufficiently unscrewed. When far enough forward, lower the back of the hatch and slide back into place. Check to see the hatch is centred onto the hatch seal all the way around 
and then do the hatch screw up nice and tight. Finally, at the back of the Kentucky, there is an aluminium toe point that is offset to the left to counter the torque of the motor. This is where you clip the carabiner onto the Kentucky, which is the most important thing to do before launching. Check out the speed controller chapter to see how to operate the standard Seahorse Kentucky's control unit.